Here's 10 reasons why organizations like yours are looking to Monday.com as their task manager. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and we're a Monday implementation partner. Monday comes jam-packed with a lot of different templates, and this is important as you're setting up your task manager, because chances are, depending on your industry or your part of the business, you might manage tasks differently. I might look for one in marketing, but if you're looking for the easiest one to get started with, I'd start with a weekly checklist Monday template. Do you want your tasks private to you? Are they part of your team? Or are you working with a large number of collaborators? We've got different sharing settings here as we're setting up a new board. So by default, our board is showing to everybody who's in our organization as part of our account. But we can make this private so we can be the only ones who can see it and not the other people on our team. Or maybe I just want to share this with my manager so only the two of us can work on it. But one of the craziest features is if you click on shareable, you can share your board outside of your organization. This means you could use it with contractors, people who aren't even licensed for Monday.com, and they can access your Monday boards. How you want to configure your columns on your board is entirely up to you. There's a ton of different options to choose from, and that means that as you're managing your tasks, do you want this to be more simple or more complex? You can have time tracking, you can have automated progress tracking, lots of different options as you configure your board. Now, what should you do if you have complex tasks that you need to break down into smaller pieces? This is what sub items are for. So you can actually expand and you can collapse this. So depending on if you wanna see that detailed view or all up, you can see this information and this can even have its own columns as well. Groups give us the ability to organize our work. So maybe we have something where we didn't hit the deadline and we need to move this out to next week. Everything in Monday is click, drag and drop. It's that easy. We can dig deeper in our tasks by clicking to open it up. This panel slides in from the outside and here's where we can add updates. One of the features I really like is the ability to at mention people on my team. This is similar to social media, so we can call people out and they'll see notifications as we leave notes for each other. Sometimes you might find it helpful to look at your information in this grid view, but there's other views as well. For example, we could have this same underlying data display in a calendar, or you can create your own from several different options. Now, what if I'm a part of multiple boards? So I've got my weekly checklist. I've got my own list of things to work on. I'm part of a team. Maybe I'm collaborating cross-functionally. How do I look at all of my work in one spot? That's where my work comes in handy. So we can click this area and this is going to show us all of the different tasks that we have across our different boards, which means that this could be in a different board in a different group, but now we can summarize all of this information that we need to work on. I'm looking at everything I need to do for this week and these columns are editable so I can change my progress without having to hunt down all of the different tasks across the application. In a lot of other task management tools, you have to combine the task manager with another document management solution like Google Docs or Notion. In Monday, this is all in one. And one of the reasons I like this all combined is because we can create a doc and we can actually reference our board directly from within it. There's lots of different options to choose from. We can click here and look at all the different things that we can do within our document. Monday comes packed with powerful automations to help streamline your workflow. So maybe we wanna say when the status of our tasks changes to done, then we wanna go ahead and notify someone on our team. And in that notification, we can actually use templating language to be able to pull fields from the task itself. And if automations within Monday aren't enough, you can integrate to tons of different applications out there. So in this case, maybe instead of using the internal notifications, I wanna look up Slack. And now we can use Slack in much the same way. We could say when the status changes to something, now we're going to actually connect this to Slack and notify the person that way. Take Monday for a spin by using the affiliate link in the description below. If you have any questions about getting up and running with Monday, don't hesitate to reach out to our website, automationhelpers.com, where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.